Good morning, LinkedIn. How are you today? In the UK, we saw the Prime Minister address the nation yesterday. And I think that we may be feeling a bit of a sense of frustration, a bit of a sense that we really are in this for the long haul. Because I don't know what your take on that, that briefing was, but we, not much has changed. Not much has changed. And, and if anything, there is more ambiguity than we were dealing with before. And I've got, I'm not criticising the, the government or the Prime Minister here. I think they're, they're doing a, an impossible job almost um, and doing it as well as they can. But I think I know from talking to contacts last week that we may have had an expectation that a clear plan on how we're going to return to work um, would be delivered and, and whilst we may see more detail today and we know the conditions to uh, allow the easing of lockdown i think for a lot of us we might be feeling that we're stuck in this situation those those with children uh, are probably pulling their hair out in some cases literally um, those that are isolated on their own might be feeling like when is this going to change so I'm, I'm here today to, to call that out, to acknowledge that's what you might be feeling, and then try to bring a sense of hope and a sense of optimism. So last week, um, uh, at the end of the week, I did a, a word cloud poll of how people are feeling. And um, I'll share the results in, in the comments, but the word that started to come out, particularly over the long weekend, as more and more people filled it in, was optimism um, and that overtook the the initial words of tired frustrated uh, and, and a lot of the negative words that we're feeling right now to understand what our form is and what we're feeling optimism so my challenge to you today is can we look for a sense of optimism in what we do in our lives and in our current situation. So I'm feeling hugely optimistic that the language of mental health is so woven in to this agenda now that we will see a better world from a mental health and well-being point of view. That gives me a sense of optimism. And the work that we're all doing now as campaigners will pay dividends in the long run. So that's my sense of optimism. I'm optimistic about the, um, the awareness we're going to raise next week in the UK Mental Health Awareness Week, the awareness that's being raised with the efforts in the US, the work that we're doing with, uh, in Asia with the Inside Out Leaderboard launch. And I'm, I'm super excited about the development of Formscore, the mobile application that I'll be releasing in the next few weeks and months. And this will help people answer that question, how are you today? But I'd like you to reflect on it right now. How are you today? Out of 10. And then where is your sense of optimism coming from? And what, what one thing can you do and can you find to be optimistic about? Because if we can do that, the burden of how we're feeling locked in whilst there is still a huge amount of uncertainty as to when things will lift and what the world will look like afterwards. If we can find that sense of optimism, that burden is lighter. Okay, so I'm with you. Yeah, we are all in this together, but we are facing very different um, circumstances as a result of what happens. But I'm with you, and let's find that sense of optimism. Have a great week.